Welcome to High School Football Week 7 in St. John's County. We're getting near the end of the line for football in the regular season. Some big games this week and some big ones last week that we need to touch on. First one this week, St. Augustine Nice rivalry game. Uh, every, every year it's the biggest one between county rivals. Uh, St. Augustine 5-0 and coming off a, a big win last week over Clay, 30-0 to last week uh, in a district game there. Put St. Augustine firmly uh, in front of the district along with Palaka, 2-0 and for both of those teams. Nice coming off a major, major upset, maybe the biggest we've seen uh, in county history. A 28-22 loss to Ridgeview. Ridgeview is a team that Nice has handled, when I say handled, 203-9 in the last few meetings. Have not even been competitive in those games. And Ridgeview comes out and pulls a big, big district win there. That's a stunner uh, in control the whole game against Nice. Uh, something we have not seen Nice playing from behind uh, the last few years. And now uh, this St. Augustine Nice game kind of shifts from being a rivalry, uh, you know, all for show, to a big one for Nice as far as making the adjustments for a big week, uh, a week eight game against Lake City Columbia. Columbia, uh, as you may or may not know, is coached by former Nice coach. Craig Howard, and that game right there becomes a survival game right there for Nice. They win that one. They still have a pretty good shot at making the playoffs. They lose next week. They're done. So no, uh, no state championship uh, fourth appearance for Nice if that one, uh, if that one falls through. So the shift, uh, the shift becomes this week, Nice preparing for next week's game as opposed to anything else. Uh, St. Augustine looking to go to 6-0. and They actually have a little bit of a streak. A bad streak going against Nice. They've won 20 against them, but the last two years has been all Nice. Nice, a two-game winning streak. It's just the fourth win in series history for Nice, but nonetheless, uh, they've done it the last two seasons against St. Augustine. So a little redemption, uh, perhaps, on, uh, on the agenda there. Bartram Trail, a disappointing loss last week, a 21-20 loss to Jacksonville Terry Parker. And that one may, uh, may come back to bite Bartram. That's a district loss, the first one in, uh, in more than three and a half years for Bartram Trail to a district opponent. Uh, they lose on a blocked point after touchdown to Parker. That uh, puts Bartram Trail behind the eight ball in their district. And it does not get any easier this week. They've got Madison County, a state power, state champion Madison County coming in. That should be a pretty good, uh, pretty good one there. Bartram a chance to get back on the winning track. They're two and four looking, looking to stop the bleeding before they run into the next part of their district schedule. St. Joseph uh, at home again against Pearson Taylor. Both those teams one and four. St. Joseph virtually eliminated from the playoff chase. So they're uh, really just looking, they're playing for pride at this point. A big chance to get a win uh, Friday night against Pearson Taylor. Menendez five and one. They go to windless Middleburg. Middleburg 0 and six. Uh, should be an easy win for, uh, for Menendez. They did struggle in that game last year, lost 20 to 10. Uh, but Menendez playing for, uh, playing for really the future now. Um, They've got two big district games the next couple weeks, so this one, uh, like Nice, is really a chance to fine-tune for what's coming in store. Uh, Menendez at, uh, excuse me, host Palaka next week, and then they'll wrap up with a uh, week uh, 10 game against Clay, sandwiched in there as a game against Port Orange Atlantic. Should not be a big problem there. Um, Creekside, 2-3, and three, they lost a shootout last week, 33-28 to Deltona Trinity Christian. Uh, Creekside 2-3, and three, they go to visit Baldwin, also 2-3, and three, looking to get back on the winning track. And Ponte Vedra, they were off last week, they're 1-4. They will go to Hilliard to face the Flashes and try to get win number two at Ponte Vedra High School. That's all we've got for you for Week 7 of high school football, and it should be a good one.